With QuickBooks Online Advanced and Spreadsheet Sync, you can use Excel to build reports from your QuickBooks data, combine reports from multiple companies, edit or record transactions, and update your company's info. Let's learn how to use Spreadsheet Sync to record new transactions and update info about your suppliers and customers in Excel. To use Spreadsheet Sync, you will have to install Excel and allow it to access your QuickBooks info. Watch this video to learn how to do that. To start, run Excel and select Spreadsheet Sync. Follow the steps to sign in and select your company. Then, select the Spreadsheet Sync tab. You can use Spreadsheet Sync to build reports for a single company or combine the data from multiple companies into a single report. To start, make sure you have connected your companies and created groups for the reports you want to run. Select Company Settings. This is where you can see the list of added companies. If you have added multiple companies, you can combine them to create company groups. Select Group Multiple Companies and give the group a name. Select a currency you want your reports in, then select the companies you want to put into the group. You will still be able to run reports for them individually. Once you're done, select Save. After you have set up your companies and groups, select Build Multi-Company Reports to retrieve data from your companies and run a QuickBooks report in Excel. Select the company or group of companies you want to run a report for, then select the report you want to see. Note that your report options for individual companies might be different than for company groups. Let's run a profit and loss report. Select filters. Run the report for this fiscal year to date on the accrual basis and select run report to open the report in the current sheet. Now that the report is in Excel, you can insert graphs, build pivot tables, and add formulas just like any other sheet in Excel. Once you build a report that you like, select save. Later, you can open the Excel workbook you saved and select refresh. This brings in any new data from your QuickBooks companies without having to rebuild your report. There are also some templates already built in. Go to Build Report, select a company, select a report, and then go to the Templates tab. Select the available template. Excel will use it when it builds your report. In addition to reports, you can also enter new transactions and edit your QuickBooks data in Excel. Select Manage Records. Then select the company you want to enter data for. Let's enter some new invoices. Select the Invoices and Bills template. You'll see some directions and notes in the first worksheet. Select the Invoices and Bills template tab. Excel displays a column for each field you would normally see on an invoice, bill, or credit memo in QuickBooks. Fill in each field manually. Select the data from drop-down menus in each cell, or if you've already prepared the transactions in a different Excel spreadsheet, copy it and paste it into the sheet. If you're pasting in data from a different spreadsheet, make sure the columns are in the same order. When you're done with filling out the template, make sure to select Yes in the Post column, then select Sync to QuickBooks. Spreadsheet Sync confirms the transactions you posted to QuickBooks. You can also edit info that is already in QuickBooks. Let's edit Suppliers and Customers. Select Edit QuickBooks Records and Sync Back to bring in existing records from QuickBooks. Once you have made your changes, select Yes in the Post column and then select Sync to QuickBooks. Sign in to QuickBooks to see all of your changes. Now you can use Spreadsheet Sync to run reports and update your company's info from Excel.